to Spirit Safe TV. I'm being joined by the lovely Alexandra, who has uh, kindly agreed to uh, have a reading with me uh, for Spirit Safe TV. That's really awesome. Oh, fabulous. And we've got these beautiful cappuccinos so coming in as well. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at these cups. Look, everyone. Wow, that'll keep us going. Uh, so we are at the Rose Leaf Cafe in Hammercourt Road. Um, but I'm here now with Alexandra, and as I connect in, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna see what I get for her. So I do feel I have a lady coming forward for you. Uh, Alexandra did say there was someone she wanted to connect with, but you never know who you can get. Uh, so I don't actually know who it is she wants to connect with, but I have a lady coming forward for you. And um, I do feel that the earrings are actually a little bit um, connected with it as well. So right, yeah. So okay. So I think because I have the feather, the feather came out just before. Um, literally just before and I said I thought it was weird and um, Alexandra just showed me on she's got this little feather earring in as well so I do feel that there's some connection with the feathers and that they mean something to her as well so as I connect in with this lady I do feel she's a bit of an older energy okay um, and I feel like she's probably I, I think she's a lot older than she's portraying but she looks around if I was guessing probably about 60 but I think she's probably older than that okay and I do feel um, that she just doesn't like to look old so I think this lady will be a lady who likes to look nice and always oh she talks about cardigans as well she always has a lot of cardigans lots of different colored cardigans and um, so as I'm connecting I'm going to ask her to come forward with a little bit of evidence for me so that we can try and work out who she is and find out what's going on in your life as well as I pull some cards for you so um, as I connect in, um, she does take away my breath uh, somewhat, which um, probably means that she, I think this is probably her, and I think it's quite shaky as well. I think towards the end that she probably had trouble with her breathing, okay, and I feel like she was quite shaky. I, I do feel really shaky. All right, so I think her hands would have been a bit like this, but then she showed me like a teacup and a saucer like this, okay, so I do feel that she would probably been a bit shaky or she may have suffered with her nerves. Okay, by the same token, this could actually be you as well, so it depends what they're actually giving me, and it also could be that you're anxious. Okay, and a bit nervous. You're always anxious, okay. So, um, so we, we have a lady, as I said, she's around 60, she, she looks, but I think she's a lot older than that, and she's portraying a younger image. And um, are you recognising who she is? I think I might know who Amazing, okay. Um, so, um, um, let me just see what I can get. Don't um, give me too much at this point. Let's just see what, what we're getting. Um, so, wait, so she, she, um, so, I feel like she's just taken all my, my voice away, my throat away. So I feel that this could be that you didn't get a chance to say goodbye. In fact, I feel that you could even be in different countries because she showed me a separation. So it could well be that you were in different countries or that maybe, or you didn't get a chance to say goodbye. Um, and I do believe that whoever this is, it, it, and then she brings her attention to the stomach area as well. So I think she would have suffered with the stomach as well. Um, now, as I, this could be you as well because it could be picking up on your energy as well. So I'm going to pull some cards. I'm going to see what else we get as we come through. Um, so, um, she makes me believe that you've been doing a lot of thinking lately. Okay. Um, and I feel like there's quite a lot going on in your mind. She says your mind's never still. Do you understand that? Yes. Um, so, as she says that your mind's never still, we're... Um, I feel like um, no matter what you do, you're just always looking for the next level of happiness. Okay? Um, and I think that um, she, she wants to kind of say, look, enjoy it now, be happy now, life's too short, enjoy it, enjoy it. And then she wants to say this lady, whoever she is, and I do feel like she's like a grandmother, auntie, energy. I don't feel she's not like a mother or that. It, it is the next level up. There is a slight distance and there was a disconnect and I don't think you managed probably to say goodbye I do feel there was a little bit of a throat issue here um, but I do feel that this lady has been in spirit for quite a while and so she gives me the number six as well okay so uh, however six is in I don't know if that's June or whether that's um, six years or um, can that make sense to you have a little think about it yeah amazing okay often when we go back then you look and you think oh that's what it was that's so awesome um, so um, as she now, as I just bring my energy back to what's going on in your life at the moment, she's also saying that um, I do feel like I feel like my knees are knocking together. So I do feel there's a little bit of anxiety or nerves there. I think there's something happening for you that's quite exciting, but that you're uh, quite nervous about. A bit like how I would say how I'm feeling right now. Like oh my god, I'm in front of the camera. So I feel like there's exciting things happening to you that's making you nervous. Do you understand this? Yes. Amazing. And I do feel like actually. Um, as I connect in with her, I, I feel like she's really quite, she's scratching my elbow here. I don't know what this is, uh, this may be that you've got dry elbows or 
something to do with an elbow to give you that elbow situation. But I feel that um, it is something quite exciting, and I, I feel quite I feel like you've been quite swept along with it, and I feel a bit dizzy, like I don't even know what's going to happen next. Do you understand? Yeah. And, um, but as I take a deep breath, I'm getting enough air, so I think that you are excited about doing whatever it is. It is exciting, and I don't know if this is involving travel and work. This is probably where I'm going to put my eggs in the basket. Do you understand that? Yeah, so, she, so the lady agrees it is travel and work. This is exciting, amazing. Right, okay. Now, this is interesting. I'm going to stick with the cards that I've pulled ready for you. So, you've got the complete, complete commitment card. Now, what this means is when you do go to do this uh, exciting thing of making your knees yeah. knot, you've got to just go 100%. 100% into it. This is what this card is saying. It is also saying that you've got a magical protector. And she says, that's me. Um, she says, you've got a magical protector. So, you've got the don't feel scared because you've got that energy of protection around you. Um, and, but, and I do feel like she's kind of saying that you are quite spiritual and you are very aware of energies I think that you pick up as well and she's saying in regard to those energies don't worry she's there for you just protect your energy protect your energy which you do she says you know what you're doing do you understand yeah okay so she, she watches you do all this and I do feel like I, I can see you doing the sage and all these things as well even though I've never met you I do feel like you're very aware of what comes of what's meant to be and she says you're very aligned is the word I just hear aligned and so I feel that there is a real the exciting things coming are quite in line with your life purpose because I feel like this is she's started giving me like it's all happening at once. Do you understand? And she's like, she's like, oh, I don't know where I'm coming. But look, you're going up because you've got the serpentine path to power. Now this card is one of my favourite cards because what this means is you're snaking your way up. Okay. And if you can imagine like uh, skiing, yeah. so when you come down, you go across. Yeah. If you were to go straight up, you fall straight down. But when you go across, you're literally pulling in um, more and more. Um, uh, Information. Yeah, energy. yeah, energy, and you're picking people up, you're helping people. You're going across the mountains, but you're really, it's the right path. If it's the people that go straight up, even though you feel it's gone a bit quick, it's not. This is the card to say that you deserve everything that's coming to you right now. She said you just need to have faith that you can do it. Yeah. Can you understand me? Amazing. Um, so um, let's pull a future card for you as well, if I can, and see what else is going on. Um, so, um, is there, I see, um, I don't know if there's someone she wants to bring attention to, but there's, I think I see a little boy uh, from childhood, do you understand me? Or a little boy in, in ch a child of some kind, a little boy, is what I'm seeing. Um, so I feel, uh, she's showing me a little boy, and, um, poor boys, okay, so she shows me a boy, so um, maybe the little boy is your youngest boy, so maybe that's what she's talking about, okay? Um, all right, okay, and then she asked me to look out the card, clear out the old. <laughs> oh my God, isn't that amazing? Is this your youngest? Wow. It's just come in, wow. Is that your youngest? Okay, so that's what it is, the little boy, clear out the old. So, clear out the old, clear out the old, what are we talking about here? Yeah, time for, oh, there's some friends around you that you need. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so she brings it to the little boy, and so interestingly, the little boy just come and just had a tattoo painted on his arm. How awesome is that? And she just brings that love um, that she's watching over. And uh, does he have trouble sleeping as well? Yeah, well, the oldest sleeps with me. Right, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. She says, continue with the sage. Uh, he's just very connected, uh, he's very gifted, and I do feel he's very gifted. Yeah, she tells me he's very gifted in that kind of psychic. Uh, way, uh, but he'll decide if he wants to follow that path or not. But if he doesn't, then you know the walls will come down as they do with everybody except me. <laughs> but yeah, and he's very gifted, and that's why he has trouble sleeping. She says, Don't worry about the energies in the house. She says, There is something, yeah, there, there's something that's not quite right. She said, There is something that's not quite right, but they're not going to come anywhere near you guys. And you're very well protected. Yeah, this is it. Um, and I do feel like I'm seeing check trousers when I connect him with the energy. Oh my god. Yeah, check trousers. I know. And um, but she said there's nothing to worry about. He's a little bit of a lost soul. Um, is that old? He's a little bit of a lost soul. Yeah. Forties. Forties. Amazing. Yeah. So she shared me. Fred. I call Charlie. Charlie. Fred. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you call him Charlie. I call him Fred. Um, and I do feel like as well, he's like quite dapper. Yeah, but like, he's, he's dapper. He's, he's funny. Yeah, I do think so. I can hear because I got whispers sometimes. Yeah, and I, oh, you're laughing yeah. at me. Yeah, and he does.
does long. Like she says, it does long, but don't worry about that energy in the house. No, that's it. And, uh, but maybe that's what um, your little boy is sensing yeah. when this um, comes through. So, um, and this is why you've got your protector card as well to come up to let you know that you are protected. But you do need to do the things you do because you're very open and so is your son. So do continue to protect your energy uh, because I do feel there's a subtle situation with some friends of yours at the moment or partners, friends that are quite draining on you and you may not know this. Um, I love my partner, but not very draining. Oh, right, okay, amazing. So it, it might be that um, also friends, though. I do feel that there's a, a friendship around somewhere where that. that you maybe not realise, but there is um, quite a strong pull where you're feeding the energy. So you may, I may need to put that to you later, emotionally, yeah. Yeah, because I feel I very love her so much, I get very worried. Right. Okay. Not because of anything, but she treats me, she treats me. Very well, yeah, but I feel that that's not helping your physical, um, I feel it's draining your, um, the life out of you a little bit. There's someone that's quite draining around you, so I'm going to connect in tonight and cut those calls for you, but then you can do that every night in the bath. You just ask Archangel Michael to come in and cut the calls, uh, because I think you'll find so you'll have more energy then. So it's like you're supporting a quite a strong energy that's drawing off you. Not on purpose, just how it happens, how we connect it now. It's good to join empathic, you're absorbing all the energies. Yeah. So it's all fast, cut cords every night. That's what I mean, cut cords. Psychically, top, psychic, all the way down to the stomach, basically the physical cords are normally from the stomach. So we'll cut them through. So, time to clear out the old, and that's what we're talking about, cutting away the cords, any emotional baggage that is not yours. Ooh, goodness, uh, I'll do mine, is that all right? Uh, so at the moment we've got laughter coming in for you, so making the most of laughter. You, look, you're clear in Deborah, that's coming in. She tells me the number three. Three months you're going to know exactly where you're heading, all right? Three months, head to the three months. But look at this future card, perfect setting. How awesome is that? This means everything's going to fall in place. You're going to attract what you want to do, and you're going to make whatever it is you want to make. Music, whatever it is. You're taking that next level up, so um, I hope that makes sense to you. And I'm going to pass all this lady's yeah, love to you. And I do feel like she's like grandma. Yeah, she's like, I can hear you. Good, amazing, that's amazing. But she said she's always watching you, and she's very proud. Um, she's not giving me uh, letters, so I don't know. But um, if you want to say her name, I can ask her. If, if that is what you were thinking, and I can see it. And my friend, Marie. Oh, do you feel it? So Amelia is now connecting. So now, Amelia, just put your I hand there. Did yeah. you feel you all felt? Is it Marie? Oh, to say yeah. to the camera, can you feel yeah. it? Yeah. So if you can just pop your head into the camera and say that you uh, felt um, when she said Marie. Yeah, yeah. Marie, yeah. So, um, yes, amazing. To help you. Amazing, amazing. And she's got a lovely energy, this lady. She's very kind. Lovely soft. Yeah, the cardigans. Yeah, the cardigans. And my granddad, we were walking around here for a And I had a question. She's like, I want to buy you something. Would you buy me cardigans? Oh, wow. I thought the cardigans connected. This is amazing. Yeah, that's so awesome. So, Spirit said, I'm going to sign off there for this lady. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Oh, Amelia might have to press stop. Sorry. She's been trying to get